everybody welcome back it is fall food friday week three it is october 1st officially pumpkin spice season i mean if it hasn't happened already it's happening today it's already been happening here y'all know this anyway we are going to be making a slow cooker cinnamon roll apple cobbler we've actually already made it we made it last night but first i'm going to feature one of your recipes so if y'all remember last year after fall food friday i randomly picked like i think i did it for four weeks i would randomly pick somebody's recipe and we would try it we're gonna go ahead and start that early this year because I wanted to make a pumpkin spice latte today and I knew that there were a couple already in this fall food Friday collab so I decided to try one of your pumpkin spice lattes today we're making Jerry Ellen's from cooking with neighbors so I'm gonna pull up Jerry Ellen's recipe and make a pumpkin spice latte I already have breakfast in the oven this morning so while that's cooking I'm gonna make my latte <laughs> By the way, if you're new here and don't know what Fall Food Friday is, it's a big open collab that we do every fall where on Fridays, we do it for four Fridays in a row, we post fall recipes. It can be any kind of recipe. So we have breakfast, desserts, dinners, drinks, and today we're making Jerry Ellen's Pumpkin Spice Latte. Let's find it. There are so many wonderful recipes on here, y'all. Here we go. Hi neighbors, it is I, Jerry Ellen. Welcome back to an episode of Cooking with Neighbors. I hope you're all doing fabulous. I'm making a pumpkin spice latte. Half a cup of milk, okay. I have extra bacon and eggs over here. The kids have been already snacking on that while they're waiting on the crescent rolls, which are done. Pause, I gotta get my crescent rolls out. 100% pure pumpkin. It's pumpkin puree. We're putting in half a cup of milk. This is so fun, it's almost like we're really just making it together. So we're putting in the pumpkin. Half a tablespoon maple syrup. Let me get my whisk. I think this would also put in this tart. Let me play and see. Oops. Oh, pumpkin pie spice. A teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Okay. This part is done. Quarter of a cup of half and half. Half and half. Quarter of a cup. We're going to go ahead and warm that up. I think that's it. So when that starts to warm up, we're going to froth it. I'm going to go ahead and make a cup of coffee over here. I'm just going to use McCafe. spice creamer in here just to sweeten it a little more and cool it down just a little bit so I can taste it <laughs> I had it too hot I should have turned it down let's see how it is oh that is really good so without any of the pumpkin spice creamer or anything it's not very sweet um, but she said you could add sugar to it or you know you can add more maple syrup or whatever you want to add to sweeten it or if you don't like it sweet you can just you know not add anything extra but this is so good I probably put I think maybe just about a tablespoon of the pumpkin pie spice creamer it's like really just a creamy cup of goodness <laughs> it's really good so I will link Jerry Ellen's video down below so y'all can go check it out also the playlist is gonna be linked down below now we're gonna jump into the recipe slow cooker cinnamon roll apple cobbler <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put the apples in here, y'all. We keep eating the apples. We are loving these Granny Smith apples these days, especially the kids. Okay, so we sprayed the slow cooker. Cece's putting in all the apples. Half a cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon. There you go. 
You like the way cinnamon smells? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, you're going to take this and stir it around to coat the apples in the brown sugar and cinnamon. We're making a cinnamon roll, a slow cooker cinnamon roll apple cobbler. Now we're going to put in two tablespoons of maple syrup. One more. There you go. Don't um, lift your head up because I got this cabinet open. You might get a little bumpy, bumpy head. <laughs> Uh-oh. Half a cup of apple juice. Oh, I'll go get the cinnamon rolls. Oh. Yeah, See, I'll walk all the way in there to get the cinnamon rolls, and I forgot that I had the cinnamon rolls in here. It's the crescent rolls that are in there. So now we're going to take the cinnamon rolls and sit them on top of the apples. We'll just, um, we're going to do two cans. Can I open it? <laughs> we're just going to sit the icing over to the side. We don't need it until they're done later on. So you're just going to sit them just like that on top of the apples. We're going to open up both cans. I think we'll be able to fit. If we can't fit them all in here, it's okay if they sit on top of each other a little bit. But you can put them like right beside each other, okay? Okay. Oh, they were stuck together, but that's okay. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these Aldi cinnamon rolls are actually rolled up. Y'all know those Pillsbury. I don't know if they still are because I usually get great value or these Aldi ones, but... Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, not the grands, but the regular size ones aren't even really rolled up. So that's it. We're just going to put the lid on and they can cook on high for two or low for four. We're going to go high for two. Here's how Jonah and Sissy's paintings turned out. Y'all guess whose is whose? Yeah. Which, oh wait, they already saw y'all painting them. <laughs> this one's Jonah's and this one is Sissy's. Y'all did a great job. Jonah made his own brown. Yeah, they started mixing colors and making their own colors. You see, this almost looks like a little chicken head right there. Oh, yeah. Manly's over here having a banana. Is it good? He also got into the paint, didn't you? <laughs> Were you painting earlier? At first, he was just painting on one of the little hot dog holders. It's washable paint. Yeah. At first, he was just painting one of those, and then we noticed that his feet were a completely different color. And then you had to go to the Wawa, right? Did you paint your feet? <laughs> so while this is cooking, we're gonna take a look back at last week and see who participated in week two of Fall Food Friday. First we have If the Creek Don't Rise, In the Kitchen with Mama Mel, Managing the Maze, Mill and Tater, Southern Family Life, Simply Enjoying Life, Create with Linda, What's Up Family Home, Steffi K's Farm Family, Mostly Mom Stuff, Melissa's Kitchen Table, Debbie Food Prepping, Re and Chi, Tequila Christine, Southern Country Living, Shop Sip Saute, Appalachian American Homestead, Our Small Town Life, Chaotic Country, Debbie's Kitchen, a Mess Called Jess, Fonda C, Big Steak on the Grill, The Curtains, Home Sweet Homes, The Hargett Life, Jerry B, Taurus Family Living, The Hodgepodge Life of Jesse, Missouri Grown Carolina Home, Pancakes and Pandemonium, Blended with Love and Adventure, Lauren Southern Life, Home Wrecker, Caitlin Dugan, Anna's Home Cooking, Tara Moore and Family, Living the Simple Life, Megan's Kitchen, Abiding Farmhouse, Every Five Years, Fate, Food and Family, My Mom Life, Whisking Away with Diana J, Melinda's Messy Sink, Cooking with Neighbors, Hannah Living Blessed, Blessed Jess, Emily Cunningham, Rachel Connolly, What's Cooking with Tay, Alicia Bryant, Heather's Homestyle Living, At Home with Lynn Wilson, Dit Dot, Our Blessed Family, and Car Dav Gomez and Boys. All right, y'all, that's everybody who participated in the last week's Fall Food Friday. If I missed anybody, please let me know in today's video in the comments so that I can get you added to the playlist. And if you made one for this week, don't forget to let me know so we can get you added. I can't wait to see what everybody made. 
Now we're back to the slow cooker cinnamon roll apple cobbler. This was so good, y'all. I love the way the cinnamon rolls turned out. They were almost kind of a chewy texture, which I really like. So if you don't like chewy, then you wouldn't like this cobbler, but <laughs> it was really good. We put a little bit of vanilla ice cream with it. Some of the kids put the cinnamon roll icing on theirs. I put a little bit of caramel syrup just on top of my ice cream, and it was so good.